On behalf of Respond Housing and Respond Support, I'm delighted to welcome everyone here this afternoon for the official opening of John's College. It's great to be here and it is beautiful to see the college restored the way it is because you know, it closed in 1999 and uh, look what happens to buildings like that is they usually just, you know, are let, you can't care for them. They're so big, they're so expensive. So to see it just beautifully restored, this is gorgeous, it's modernised, it's, it's friendly, it's, it's, it's beautifully done and it's, just, it's, it's great for the, for the city of Waterford and for the residents. fantastic day for Waterford City and County. 67 new units for people, that, especially in a time when we have a lot of homeless people uh, living in our city and county, people that need housing. Ten years of work finally paying off and Father Pat Hogan and everyone that's been involved in this definitely deserves a huge amount of credit. Using kind of a gothic revival building like this one, we have to use our old buildings. You know, this could have went into disrepair, this could have been completely left abandoned, but using these kind of buildings, especially when we don't have probably the facilities or the, the room or the areas to actually do housing construction, these kind of old buildings definitely make a fantastic facility. It is a great day. It's a great day for Waterford, a great day for housing, it's a great day for the, all the new uh, residents here. Uh, in St John's College, I think it's a great, a great achievement. It says here on this forum, a mission accomplished, and it certainly is. Um, a lot of hard work went in here. Respond have led this project from the start, working with the County Council, Waterford County Council, and at the time, probably City Council as well, doing great work. There's over 12 million that has been spent here. Uh, taxpayers' money is going into this of over 11 million. It's an important, uh, important people see the results in the money as well. Respond are giving great value for the money, in fairness. This is making an impact. We've a lot more to do. And that's what this week was about, was about launching an action plan, which will, I, I no doubt, uh, bring results more and more like this, and that's what we need. But as I said in there, it can only happen with all of us working together, uh, cross party, cross community, cross um, all the different agencies, all the different departments, and here's an example of that, and it's, it's a great day, great to see it. My respect for Respond is, is amazing. Um, what they've done, not only with the building, the facilities they've provided, the beauty of the place. It's bright, it's airy, it's gorgeous looking, it's top spec. It gives dignity to people to live in a place like this. And uh, I, I'm speechless, I think. Words can't describe how grateful, as members of this city, we must be to respond. Um, it's just fantastic. We have so many excellent people in the organisation at every level and in the design team particularly, they're really qualified people in the design team and we know what we're about and we know what has been absent in terms of long term planning in, in the country and we have absolutely browbeat ministers and director generals over the years, will you listen, get a plan in place, there was no plan in place so when the crisis happened things fell asunder. I'm thrilled today and it's great to see so many people happy uh, in the organisation and uh, from the organisation it's great.